James Burr. Music and effects by freefx.co.uk. On the monitor screen, the middle-aged man looks annoyed as he sits on the sofa wedged next to his sullen children. He crosses his arms and exhales loudly as his wife on the other end of the couch licks her hand and pats down the hair of their son who scowls directly at the camera that is set up before them. Behind the camera, the interviewer looks to the shadows, asks, Ready? Then nodding, turns to the family. So it's been a long and painful journey, hasn't it, Mrs. Greenleaf? The man's wife laughs and giggles excitedly, knocking her son, who continues to glower directly ahead. Yes, and let's not forget expensive. Indeed. How much exactly has it cost you now? The man stares angrily at the camera. A hundred thousand. His smiling wife interrupts him. About ninety thousand pounds, I believe. He glares at her for a moment, then grunts. Yes, about that, I suppose. His wife sits forward, a broad smile on her face. But of course, cosmetic surgery is so much more acceptable now. It's not as if I wanted to look more beautiful or to try and become some glamorous person that nature never intended me to be. I just wanted to look how I felt inside. And that's as an eight-year-old girl. She kicks her legs playfully, her feet barely extending over the edge of the leather cushion she has sat on. Yes! But isn't the course of action you've taken a little extreme? The man sits unmoving, his arms still crossed tightly in front of him. No, I don't think so. No one blinks an eye with some of the ops you can have nowadays. And I just feel like an eight-year-old girl trapped in a 45-year-old's body. I mean, sometimes I'd be riding Mr. Schnifter. Mr. Schnifter? The man grunts. Her pony. Anyway, I'd be riding Mr. Schnifter, and I'd catch sight of my reflection in the stable's windows, and I couldn't believe that I was that old hag on top of him. So I decided to take the plunge and have my first procedure. And how do you feel about your wife's transformation, Mr. Greenleaf? The man shifts uncomfortably, clearly pissed off. Well, not... I mean... I wish she hadn't, but, well, whatever she feels she has to do to be happy, I suppose. He slumps back and crosses his arms again, as his wife excitedly speaks to the interviewer. And I do feel happy, more comfortable in my own skin. Younger, fresher, more vibrant. And, she turns to her husband. It's done wonders for our sex life. On the grainy monitor, the man glowers silently as his wife giggles and plays with her pigtails. (laughs) 